goes. The fourth atomic bomb has been successfully detonated. ...shows the column composed of millions of tons of water rising at an initial rate exceeding the speed of sound. And there it goes. Polaris on the way with a nuclear warhead. Right on the second, the missile detonated at the intended altitude at... Participation in Cactus supplied low-yield coral soil data for comparison with results obtained in Nevada soil from shots of similar yield. COA provided high-yield data for comparison with the low-yield cactus data obtained in similar soil. Successful measurement of neutron flux and spectra were made for a number of ranges. In the structural effect studies on the B-52, sufficient data were collected to substantiate a correlation between measured and analytical responses. This will establish a workable and reliable side-load computation procedure. Orange was launched at 2330 hours from Johnston Island on 12 August. It was detonated at an altitude of 141,000 feet, approximately 26 miles south of the island. display areas close to ground zero, once Rad safe okays us for the move up. Since the biggest value of the operation is for us to prove to ourselves that it can be done and find any weak points in the training, psychiatrists are with us to study our reactions before, during, and after the experience. It's quite an experience, no matter where you are to watch it. This kind of experience is immensely valuable for any military man. Bomb away. bomb has been successfully detonated. First you see a blinding flash. Then comes the hemispherically shaped cloud. Five, four, three, two, one, fire. These pictures of the ascending water column show the expanding cloud of spray at the base of the column moving outward and enveloping the ships in the target array. Great quantities of radioactive water from the column descended upon the decks of the nearby vessels, and ship hulls a mile away were drenched by the wall of foaming water. Photographic tower on bikini shows the column composed of millions of tons of water rising at an initial rate exceeding the speed of sound. The water and spray from the explosion will fall for several minutes. Here again is an excellent photographic portrayal of the boiling, foaming wall of water engulfing the ships in the foreground. This highly lethal spray was intensely radioactive. Two sandstone, three detonations. These were fabricated releases of power of energy locked up within the atom from the beginning of time. With over 6,500 aging classified nuclear weapons development films located on Kirtland Air Force Base, Albuquerque, New Mexico, and a smaller number at Albuquerque's Pantex plant near Amarillo, 
this joint Department of Defense and Department of Energy effort will preserve and allow appropriate release of this valuable historic information. decided to have a fourth test called the booster shot and was detonated on a 200-foot tower. Booster was then ready for detonation. Now for a look at the booster shot. Here in sequence are the four snapper blasts detonated atop their steel towers on the 7th and 25th of May and the 1st and 5th of June. Six seconds it takes the bomb to fall, the men of Operation Ivy wait on parry in any Weetok Islands. Unlike the Mike phase of the operation, the King phase will be observed from land. The bomb is now at 8,500 feet, at 6,500 feet, at 4,500 feet, at 2,500 feet, approaching 1,500 feet. Watch the air overrun it. This photograph was taken from an airplane at 50 miles. The Army's 280-millimeter gun. When this shot was added to the program, some additional effects tests we're scheduled to observe results of the low burst height. Since no gun type assembly had been detonated since the Hiroshima bomb, the weapons development scientists had on this shot their first opportunity to study the nucleonic behavior and fireball configuration of such a device. Fifteen kilotons. 